we can make do with what we have. We go ahead, uh, Majority Leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I beg to move that, taking into consideration the findings of the committee on appointments in its first report on the vetting of nominees for approval as cabinet secretaries, the secretary of the cabinet, and the attorney general laid on the table of the house today, Tuesday, October 24, 2022, and pursuant to the provisions of Article 152.2, 154.2, and 156.2 of the Constitution, and Section 3 and 8 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approval Act of 2011, this House, one, approves the appointment of the following persons as Cabinet Secretaries. One, the Honorable Wycliffe Musalia Mudavadi EGH to the Office of the Prime Cabinet Minister. Two, the Honorable Professor Kidura Kindiki EGH as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Interior National Administration. Three, Professor Njuguna Ndungu, CBS, as Cabinet Secretary for National Treasury and Pla Economic Planning. Four, the Honorable Alice Mudoni Wahome, as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Water, Sanitation, and Irrigation. Five, the Honorable Aden Bare Duale, EGH, as a Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Defense. Six, the Honorable Rebecca Miano, MBS as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of East African Community, the Assals and Regional Development. Seven, the Honorable Alfred Nganga Mutua, EGH, as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Diaspora Affairs. Eight, the Honorable Aisha Jumwa Karisa Katana, as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Public Service, Gender and Affirmative Action. Nine, the Honorable Moses Kearie Kuria, as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Trade, Investment, and Industry. Ten, the Honorable Roslinda Soipan Tuya, CBS, as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Environment and Forestry. Eleven, the Honor Honorable Onesimus Kipchumba Murkomen, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Roads, Transport, and Public Works. Twelve, Mr. Zakaria Mwanginjeru as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Lands, Housing, and Urban Development. 13, Ms. Susan Nahumicha Wafula as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Health. 14, the Honorable Franklin Medeka Linturi as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development. 15, the Elliot Okech Owalo Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Information, Communication, and the Digital Economy. 16, the Honorable Ezekiel Machogu Ombaki, CBS, as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education. 17, the Honorable Davis Kimutai Chirchir, as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Energy and Petroleum. 18, the Honorable Ababu Namwamba, EGH, as a Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Youth, Youth Affairs, Sports, and the Arts. 19, Mr. Simon Kiprono Chelugui, EGH, as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Cooperatives and Micro, Small, and Medium Enterprises Development. 20, the Honorable Salim Mvuria, EGH, as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Mining, the Blue Economy, and Maritime Affairs. 21, the Honorable Florence Chepnetich Koske Bore as Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Labor and Social Protection. And that one approves the appointment of the Honorable Justice Bedan Muturi Njoka, EGH, as the Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya. Two, approve the appointment of Ms. Masi Keiro Anjao, CBS, as the Secretary to the Cabinet. And three, rejects the appointment of the Honorable Penina Malonza, OGW, as a Cabinet Secretary for Tourism, Wildlife, and Heritage. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I beg to move that motion as it is. And Honorable Speaker, in moving this motion, allow me to appreciate in a very special way 
all the 21 members, including yourself, Honorable Speaker, as chair of the Appointments Committee, who sat diligently for an average of 12 hours a day from 8 in the morning at times to close to 9 p.m. every day from last Monday to Saturday evening, Honorable Speaker, to be able to consider all the 24 nominees, the 22 nominees as cabinet secretaries, that of the Secretary of the Cabinet and the Attorney General, in a record five days, with the exception of Masujade when we took a break. Honorable Speaker, it is out of this member's commitment, the 21 members from both sides of the political divide, that we are able to come up with this very bulky report that members will be able to go through and see that all the nominees that His Excellency the President communicated to the House and uh, whose communication the Honorable Speaker delivered to this House Honorable Speaker were considered on merit. We also considered their suitability to serve in the offices that they have been nominated to. And Honorable Speaker, that the culmination of all those deliberations is this report that is before us, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, members will appreciate that there are certain issues that are put into consideration during approval hearings. And among the issues, Honorable Speaker, as provided in Section 6 and Subsection 7 and Subsection 8 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approval Act of 2011, which provides that under 7, that an approval hearing shall focus on a candidate's academic credentials, professional training and experience, personal integrity, and their background. And in eight, the act states that the criteria specified in the schedule shall be used by a committee during an approval hearing for the purposes of vetting a candidate. And Honorable Speaker, I want to confirm that it is this criteria that is set out in this uh, particular section of uh, section eight, subsection uh, eight of section six of the Public Appointments uh, Parliamentary Approval Act of 2011 that guided the committee. And indeed, Honorable Speaker, we did consider the academic credentials of all the candidates, their professional training. We did look at their experience in places where they have worked before. We did consider issues to do with their personal integrity as individuals and also in office for those who have held public and other private offices before. And also, Honorable Speaker, their background. And Honorable Speaker, I must indicate that some of the nominees did, uh, as, as many members uh, possess here, did possess a background that resonates with very many Kenyans who are hustling out there. And members, 